Hey everybody, it's Kruokon Keith here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to part two of setting up the game room. So we've done a few bits. Um, let me show you. One thing I always wanted to do is put out my collection of gaming magazines. That's all like the retro gamer anthologies and you know, the retro gamer did specials on the Spectrum and the Amiga. It's also Edge specials and, you know, top 100 games to play before you die, the top 100 games of the 80s. Um, I've got tons of magazines still to come and I have to find a home for. I've got the entire run of official Dreamcast magazine, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see where they go. Start putting out my Wii games, Wii U games, um, making things look cool with my, like, you know, displaying my Dreamcast stuff and they're probably rule of rose i thought was the most expensive thing in my collection turns out this pokemon crystal on game by color selling for five six hundred euro just regularly on ebay graded copies going for a lot more sealed pokemon mystery dungeon red rescue team five six hundred quid if it's graded so not uh, putting out a few more games there i'm gonna put out my Xbox One and Series X collection now. Um, I, my P I, I thought my PSP collection fit nicely in that section, but no, there's a lot more PSP than I thought. GameCube, Mega Drive, Genesis, Vita, so there's no rhyme or reason. I'd love to have everything in sections and correct, but I, I'm just putting out things where I think they're going to fit and utilize the most room. Sometime in the future, it may all change. Okay, Xbox One and Series X time. Now we're done. Um, we're not look. I even checked the room for anything missing get in there so yeah not alphabetized just thrown up gonna do that for everything um, I think it's Dreamcast time next And we have Dreamcast. I just watched the um, video back, the time lapse, and I'm pretty much blocking everything, but you know, so what? It's just a bit of fun. Pretty sure there's gonna be some more popping up somewhere, but I've got a cool Dreamcast collection. Um, I've over half the entire PAL um, Dreamcast releases. Some really expensive rare ones in there somewhere, but again, they're not in any alphabetical order, just getting them in place. Now, um, it's actually day number three. Uh, I got a few bits done that I didn't really do on camera. I'm gonna put out my PlayStation 1 games now, but um, I'm not doing this every day. I'm doing it like when I get a bit of time or I uncover another box of games when I'm still unpacking. Uh, I'm out of breath. Every time I start a video, I'm out of breath because I've been running around doing something in the games room and unloading. Let me show you what I have done. So I put out all of my big box Amiga and PC games. I think that's all of them. And I put like some of the standout ones on display. Crusader, not so much, but Settlers 1 and 2, yes. Um, I actually want to do a video about this. I bought this game in 1994 or 1995 in anticipation of getting my first PC. So it wasn't even in my 20s at that stage. I remember reading the manuals and <clears throat> just being excited about going from the Amiga to the PC. Um, there's a pretty rare PC game up there. Okay, my next step is I think my entire PlayStation 1 collection will fit there. That's it, I think. I've also got some standout um, PS1 games, well, random PS1 games there, but I've got some, where are they? 
some more here. There's a few like the really kind of expensive collectible ones. I, they're here. Put them somewhere. Don't worry. Like all the Final Fantasies and oh look, some more Dreamcast games. I need to find a home for them. Where the hell are the super super expensive collectible rare? PlayStation 1 games. Mm. Why are they just look, looking right at me? Come join me as I try and... Well, I hope I lose something in such a small space. I mean, like, yeah, it's a, it's a nice space room. Oh, found them. They were, they were hiding behind this bunch of stuff. This is a cool... Uh, these are my rarest. Yes, one game is Final Fantasy Anthology, Klonoa, Klonoa's worth a lot now, Vagrant Story, uh, what's this one, Musaji, no that's not all of them, there's a lot more, and then like, look at this little chest of drawers here, we open it up, we've got some loose cards, controllers, tons of Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and Mega Drive, God, there's just so much games, anyway, PS1. Well, they didn't quite fit perfectly, but um, yeah, you can see I have to put some on the side there. But in the future, maybe I'll put some of the crappier ones at the back. I don't even mind, you know, having two layers, have all the really cool games on display and the not so cool ones on the back. But there's so many amazing games here, like, you know, Medieval 1 and 2, Heart of Darkness, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Resident Evil. Oh, just looking at it, it's, oh, wow. Can't wait to get my PlayStation set up. Uh, kept some of the highlight games that I'm gonna put on display, like Xeno Gears. Legend of Dra Dragoon is like super collectible. A lot of people spend a lot of money getting that. My Final Fantasies are there. Got the Fire, Silent Hill, I'll put them up this, on display somewhere. So, yay, two more boxes empty, hurrah. Oh, oh well, hello. Um, it's been a few days since I've been in here and I'm out of breath again because I was at Lauren's in Sligo and I brought back two boxes, two more boxes of games there and I brought them upstairs, I'll show you now. One of them I think there's PlayStation 2 games in there. There's a crack in it, I could see, definitely see like a PS2 game which means there may be Rule of Rose in there because I'm very worried about my, where my Rule of Rose has gone. Um, well, it's labeled, I think, what's it? DS, PS3, DS and PS3 games is the way it's labeled. So, could be just one or two games in there to fill it out. Uh, let me show you. Uh, so, two more boxes of games. That says DS, PS3. And that says Sega Saturn, and it's funny, I never mentioned, but yeah, I'm missing my entire Sega Saturn collection, and it never really registered with me. So I'm going to open that in a second, and we'll take a look. One thing I've decided, um, this shelf bookcase is going to go. I'm getting another full-size Billy bookcase from Ikea, so the well, it will go right up there. That small bookcase is going to go here. I'm going to get a flat screen TV, I'm not going for a retro CRT, I'm going to get a flat screen, I'm going to have consoles all along here, that's what I'm going with, but uh, yeah, let's take a look at the, the box, okay, I thought I'd need some way to, no, hang on, so that's, what I see, yeah, I don't know if you can see, there's a PS2 game right there, Crash Bandicoot, Oh, I should label, oh there's loads of PS2 games, 
it literally just seems to be Ah, oh, it's gotta be in here. It is. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Oh, I am so relieved. I am so bloody relieved. That's like. Yeah, it's all there. I mean, that's worth. Depending on who is looking for it, that will easily go for 500 euro. I've seen some going up to seven and eight. This is the European, um, I think the Spanish one. The UK one's more desirable, but it's still a super rare game. So let us put you where you belong. Uh, there you go. I'm so, I'm so relieved. Like I know, like I'm not exa I'm not gonna be jumping around for joy, but I'm so happy. I was getting worried there, and I've still got other boxes of games. Um, I have a ton of PC games. I have about maybe three or four hundred PC games. <clears throat> not big box, just a regular kind of that type. Size, I gotta get into my collection. But that's it for part two of the video game room setup. Um, yeah, that's it. this might go on for a few more videos because I've got lots of plans and yeah, it's gonna be a great room and stuff. Okay guys, see you on the next one, bye bye. If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.